Now at 5.30, the cold case cards. One of Buddy Cianci's aides, John Leatherwood, was found dead in a Pawtucket Park 41 years ago this month. You know, someone is still walking around out there, as far as we know, that was responsible for this, whether it was one person or more than one. And the hours after his death, detectives released they had suspects, but the case went cold. The investigation was added to a deck of cold case playing cards to bring in any new leads. Each card highlights an unsolved homicide or missing persons case here in Rhode Island. I sat down with the detective on the case to learn about the key questions yet to be answered in this more than four decade investigation. Tonight, John Leatherwood, the King of Diamonds. Buddy Cianci was riding high as he campaigned for a second term as the mayor of Providence. One of his trusted aides seemed to be liked by everyone, 32-year-old John Leatherwood. He was very polite, well-dressed. Most people said that, that he was a very sharp dresser. John lived in the city he worked in, but his life would end in Pawtucket. 3 a.m. on June 11th, 1978, an officer drove through the Vets Memorial Park. There was a couple of teens playing Frisbee, so he asked them to head home. Two hours later, the officer came back. There was a white Ford Mustang parked in the dirt lot, according to Detective Sue Cormier. On top of the car, there was a pack of cigarettes and prescription sunglasses on the, on the roof. Odd. So the officer got out to take a look. And that's when he saw John's body. So it was uh, a gruesome scene. John was stabbed repeatedly. 41 years later, Cormier has reopened the case, trying to answer questions that have been hard to uncover. We're not sure even why he was in Pawtucket that night. Is that one of the big questions of this case? Yes. Yes. We would have to look into what brought him here. Did he meet someone here? Did he just happen upon someone in that park? She said she comes to the park now with the murder on her mind. Yeah, it gives you a little better of an understanding of what what happened and what brought him here and why he was parked where he was. Old archived eyewitness news scripts uncovered from the Rhode Island Historical Society indicate there were suspects at first, but no arrests. His keys, his wallet, his jewelry, everything was still on scene. So this was definitely not a robbery and this was, it seemed like it was very personal. 41 years ago, detectives weren't thinking about DNA. No, they were not. Uh, is there a chance there's still DNA in this case? It's quite possible. Anything is possible. You know, now with modern technology, we can certainly take a look at whatever items that we do have in evidence and try and resubmit and see if there is any uh, bodily fluids, any DNA that we can get some information from. Cormier hopes anyone who knows more about John's life will come forward. She said that will help piece together the story of what happened. Just because the case is old and had, you know, stalled with some leads, it doesn't mean we're giving up. Do you know what happened to John Leatherwood? Call 1-877-RI-SOLVE or go to our website to learn more about this investigation and all the others we've covered so far in this series.